Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is February 23rd of 2017. I need a nap. I've been up all day waiting for, it's not their fault, a Salvation Army to come and pick a bunch of stuff up. They got a pretty good haul because I gave them, they got some brand new computer stuff from me. Um, I just need the space. I, I got, uh, I didn't give them a, I didn't give them any computer or gave them a monitor, a small monitor, but I gave them a bunch of uh, other things. They got quite a, you know, they did well, but uh, they do good work. And I'm glad they get, <coughs> came and picked it up, but I didn't want to try to take my nap and then didn't want to miss them, so they just left a while ago with a bunch of stuff. I got this yesterday. Um, Okay, I do. Uh, let's not call this pink. Let's call this flesh colored. I didn't. I didn't even pay any attention when I ordered. I don't know if they had other colors or not. But I have. When you see some videos of me, you probably. I've got what? How many videos on you here? <coughs> Excuse me, a bunch. You probably don't see my feet because they look gross swollen and not getting good blood circulation and so I bought this uh, foot spa yeah. so I can put my feet down and I got it yesterday I used it twice yesterday once I used it with uh, Epsom salt I haven't seen any you know improvement or anything probably all I've done is probably sent a blunt clot from my foot or something up into my lungs or brain or something but uh, so far I haven't seen any improvement but uh, Amazon had well they have a bunch of them the one I had on my wish list for quite a while I think it was about forty dollars and so yesterday or no, I got it yesterday when I decided to order it the other day I looked and it it uh, it had a few not so great reviews of it, so this one was about twenty dollars more, and I ordered it. Uh, so I wish the uh, I wish it would hold a little bit more because my light, you know it's not just my feet. I wouldn't mind the water coming up a little bit higher than my because my ankles are swollen too. Well, my uh, but uh, I'm hoping it will, hoping it'll help. Hoping it maybe some warm water will get some blood circulating. Probably the best thing would be to lay down. If I could just, well, I do. Eh, I need to, that's an excuse to order a tablet or. A, I'm actually thinking of one of these uh, Chromebooks. I've mentioned this before. I had a Chromebook. Gave it to uh, Hillary. Oh, if you... Yeah, Hillary took her cat to the vet uh, yesterday. Spent $400 at the vet. And... Uh, I can't afford a dog or a cat. I can't afford the, the expense of... Unless they have uh, Medicare for animals or something, I can't afford a dog or a cat. Um, I was going to say something. What was I going to say? Anyway, we've been working to um, get my ex-wife and my son moved over into this apartment. So that's why I had to call We've thrown a bunch of stuff away, and I've still got, because when my grandson moved out, I had that other room, and I, then I moved, I had two closets, and I put stuff on the shelves there, and it was organized, and whatever, and now there's, uh, well, I've got a bunch of it off the floor, but there's a bunch of stuff on the floor that I, computer-type stuff that... Uh, 
I don't know where to put it. Um, I don't know what my next, this chair is not in the greatest condition, but as I mentioned the other day, Logitech now has, this is a C930E and it was their top of the line. Now they have just come out with a 4K video, I mean a 4K USB webcam, $200 though. If I wait, the price will come down. You people don't need to see me in 4K. Oh, I, uh, little something here. Not sure if I'm going to be putting that at the beginning of videos or not. It's, at least it's not too, uh, not too long. And then this maybe at the end of the videos. I don't know. I think if you, I think people know. I think you all know that. I've got 2,050 subscribers now. I want a million subscribers. I forget, I've, I mentioned that, talked about that. You get a, a trophy or something from, a, from Amazon when you have, I don't know whether it's 100, they have different, you know, the gold one, I forget, is for I think a million. I think if you have a million subscribers, you get to send you a, wall mount or something. I want one. No, I really don't. So, uh, I did a hour and 30 minute, I think it was, live streaming video on YouTube. Only one person came. And, you know, I announced it on Facebook, Twitter, I don't know where on one person came and then I was there an hour and a half. We had a nice little talk, but uh, but I was using XSplit Broadcaster and I need to go through and they have a whole bunch of instructional videos. I need to because uh, I'm not sure what I'm doing. I wasn't sure what I was doing. But uh, I need to watch those videos. I need to take a nap. But then I need to get something to eat. Oh, I ordered, I placed another order with Amazon Prime. I think I got 40 Cokes, I think it was. Two liter bottles. Didn't get much else, that was about it. But it sure is nice to have, I have a supply of Coke that lasts me probably for a month. Nice to have. Uh, when Darlene moved over there next door, Darlene's computer that she uses for doing her, she plays some games on, well, I mean, not the kind of games that, you, you know, I mean, not shoot them up or whatever she plays, I don't know what, uh, card games and that kind of stuff, a little bit, a little bit. But she does, her, she spends hours on there doing, putting stuff on eBay to sell. But they have, and she's in a wheelchair, and so her computer, and we've tried uh, James, I think, I always call him Jimmy, but he wants to be called James. Uh, James and I both have tried to get her computer to work with Wi-Fi and it won't do it. So there's a cable, networking cable and everything running across. So when she moves over here, uh, I'm going to give her my old computer 
which will do Wi-Fi, and then there there won't, there won't be any. Uh, there will be a cable that runs into Jimmy's room, uh, and uh, then I have one running over here, but she'll be at the other end of the place, and uh, she can use Wi-Fi. We get on a wired. We get sixty down, five up, and. When we try to do, when we do Wi-Fi, we get like 30 or 35 down and five or six up. Um, CPAC is having their, I'm not going to get into politics. I, I, I think what I, my goal now is, and I'm not, this is not going to be it, but I don't think I'm going to talk about President Trump or whoever the president is. I think what I may talk about when I talk about politics is I'm going to talk about things that I think could be done to improve, you know, improve things. So instead of just getting getting into attacks on the president or whatever, but I talk about uh, things I'd like to see changed. One thing which nobody hit, well, it would never ever pass, and I think I may have mentioned this before, you know, the Constitution spells out how many representative, how many congressmen, and of course senators, each state gets two senators, so that's a hundred. Uh, for the House of Representatives, we have about 530, so I don't know what it what it is per, you know, but you know what we could do, which they would never, it wouldn't, this would never pass, ever. But what we could, you know, this was, this was, this, this idea was set up for the representatives, you know, colonial times. Before television, before, you know, telegraph, before the internet, or, you know, you know, we could, Whatever the number is now, one representative per. Let's say it's one representative for the in the house. Let's say it make it. We'll make it easy. One representative uh, for a thousand people. Of course, we know it's much. You know, it's much higher than it. But all we would need to do is amend the constitution and make it. Uh, one representative for 2,000 people, and you could cut the size of the house in half. Instead of having 530 house members, you know, you'd have, say, 250 house members. They would have a larger congressional district but they have the fucking television, they have fucking mail system, they have, of course they had mail in the colonial times, but wonder how good it was, you know. Uh, you know, they have the internet, they have, so, but you not only would you be counting, you know, cutting out the congressmen, half of the congressmen, but the, each half, you know, those, they all have offices, they all have staff, on and on and on and on. They all get perks, they all get pensions, they all get travel, they get to travel. But I would be generous, you know, if, you, if they have an office staff now of 20 people or whatever, if their district increases, uh, give them 25 people. Not, you know, not another if they have 25 now, don't give them another 25. Give them five or something, an extra five or something. But they would never pass because, of course, <laughs> that would eliminate, you know, some no member of Congress would vote for, vote for that. But it's not only that. Then the states would have to ratify it. And every state has a state legislature, and the guys in the state legislature 
all are thinking, I want to be a congressman, you know, and you would be eliminating, you know, term, you know, so it just would never pass. But it would be a way to save tremendous amount of money. Another thing we need to do, and that's not going to work either, is a gerrymandering of uh, districts, you know, and the Democrats have been guilty of this too. Of course, Republicans always go super, you know, when they decide to do something, they go, man, they go at it. And the Democrats were kind of uh, panty waist or passive or it must be the marijuana we smoke or something. But we never go steroids the way the Republicans do. They go super, you know. But the Democrats have done that. When you control the state legislature in a state, and the Republicans now control, I think it's 33 or 38 of the states, so they can decide, make the districts however they want it. And, of course, you you, <laughs> you draw these lines, and you okay, we'll make sure if we, you know, we go around this black area here, we take in with this district here, and then that gives us, you know, these five, you know, people, you know, Republicans for the whatever, and that just leaves this black, a black district that goes like this, and they only get one because it's one district, you know. So that, but the Democrats, like I said, did that too. The Republicans do, are on steroids. They have done it. But it's, it's, it's anti-democratic, and when I, that's with a small D, don't go fucking crazy on me. Uh, yes, the United States is a, a republic. We have a republican form of government. But we are also a democratic nation. But, because uh, I've got friends, or I did have friends, when I'd say the United States is a democracy or whatever, they would start foaming at the mouth be spitting, they'd be so upset, be spitting on me, you know, saying, no, oh, the United States is not a democracy. It's a republic. It's a republic. Oh, fuck. So, uh, I'd like to see the gerrymander. I, the only hope is, and that's not going to probably happen either, would be if at some point the courts step in and say, okay, you know, this this has to stop, you know. There has to be some, you know. The states can have the some say. You can do it, computer generate it, uh, using squares or sh different shapes. But it has to be something that is not just so. You always make sure that that your party's candidates, you know, have the votes and that you pull the kind of crap that you pull. So. I'd like to see that happen. I can never can remember what's the court ruling that the Supreme Court moved, made that uh, corporations are people and they can donate unlimited money. They can fund somebody. You know, the Congress, the Congress had and a Democrat and well, McCain was one. It was McCain and somebody else. McCain was a Republican and. I don't remember the Democrats' name, but they sponsored the bill and it passed to put some regulation in to uh, financing for uh, political campaigns or whatever. And the uh, Supreme Court ruled, nope, we're tossing that out because corporations are people and they're entitled to freedom of speech and they can spend as much money as they want to. So what, and it, it turns around, you know, the Republicans, of course, loved that. Oh, my God, you know. I think they actually got erections and, you know, climaxed from it. But actually, that's, <laughs> who did it hurt? Who did it, who has it destroyed? The Republicans and the Republican Party. Because, like, with this election here, you know, you had some people, uh, oh, you lost my, vi my picture, my video here. I've been talking all this time, and uh, you lost me. Um, so the Republicans were hurt, and Donald Trump ended up being elected because 
you know, as president because of the circus of them having, you know, 10 or 15 Republicans up there uh, doing for the debates and uh, uh, a bunch of those people shouldn't have been up, wouldn't have been up there except all you need is all you need is one person that has some money, you know, one billionaire or uh, don't even have to be a billionaire, and he can just decide like uh, Rick Perry, former governor of uh, Texas or whatever. He had a backer or a, a couple of backers or whatever, and they had the money, and uh, so he ends up there, and that diluted the. Things where you're looking at these 10 or 15 people up there, and Republicans are thinking, "Well, I don't like this people here, people here." You know, Donald Trump doesn't look too bad, but the the thing is, by just being up there, see, they split up all the votes. You know, all these votes. So, if there had been four or five legitimate candidates, even though if you threw in, you know, Donald Trump, uh, then the vote would have been. Donald Trump would have got the crazy vote, <laughs> you know. Sorry about that. Just kidding. You know, he would have got his crazy vote, but then instead of the rest of the votes being diluted with these 10 or 15 other people, there would have been two or three legitimate uh, people who knew what they were doing, and one of those would have got, you know, enough votes that Donald Trump wouldn't have. So. I guess if you're a Trump supporter, you like the current system. I'd like to see that that change. I never can remember. The only time I can remember the name of it is when the camera is not rolling. Oh, I ordered a clapper. I think that's what they call it. I ordered a clapper so I can I can write on it. Scene one, director Jim Howard, B-roll, and I can go clap. Uh, Actually, I got it because of this. Because I'm going to try. I actually haven't done it. Well, I did it a little bit of experimental thing, but going to be recording the sound here, but doing the video here with this camera, and then I'm going to try to sync them together. And that's why I'll use that clapper. And I could just do that and look for the spike on the thing but uh, I want to be a director move in for the close no it's too close move further back from Jim Howard uh, so I got a clapper I think it's coming tomorrow the next day so I'm, you'll and of course you're supposed to cut that out but I'll probably leave it in you're gonna get to see the only problem is it'll have to be the one doing it eh? Well, my son gets over here. Maybe I can have him. He can be the clapper person. This camera, by the way, has a microphone input on it. I have looked at... In fact, I bought one, but I bought a really cheap one. The shotgun microphone or whatever. There, I've seen some reviews on YouTube of... Supposedly there's a you know good good one for a hundred dollars and so forth and I just I don't know if I knew for sure that it would work out well I would I'd go that route oh I'm thinking about the two hundred dollar camera uh, for 4K video. The camera also does, what does it do? Um, well, I, I don't care about that, but it does the, with Windows 10, you could use it for facial recognition, so it would uh, recognize my face and I wouldn't have to enter my PIN. I have no trouble entering a four digit number or whatever. Um, and I, I think, really, if, well, not if, when one of these days I go into the go into the hospital, well, I sent my pacemaker data 
today using the cell phone and the new device. I've used it a couple times. Much better than the, the old one. Remember that hook into a regular phone line. Just use a cell phone. And uh, so I got my pacemaker in 2010. So this has been seven years. I forget the last time. I see the cardiologist once a year and they check the thing there too but see it also checks it over the phone every it don't they they know that the data i've gone in before and they always give the questionnaire you know have you had any uh palpitations of the heart or your heart been you know and I, I checked and i thought well yeah i think i think a few nights it well you know i didn't put down that i was watching porn was i supposed to put down that I was watching porn uh, you know, I, I've checked the thing. Maybe I thought, well, my heart was beating fast or something. I'm kidding about the porn. Um, and anyway, then when the cardiologist comes in, he says, uh, "No, your heart was your heart never raced. Your heart never did. You know, all the data is there." That's why I'm afraid to masturbate because it would show. I'm sorry. Did I say that out loud? Uh, hey, if you, if you, because uh, it's something I wouldn't want to ask them. Somebody bound, somebody out there is bound to be somebody who works in a cardiologist's office, or somebody who works with pacemakers. Uh, uh, so, I have a question for you because it records once every three months when I send the data to them or when I go to once a year and they take the data then they have apparently everything on there if and I would never do it because it would be a mortal sin it'd be a venial sin I think uh, I think it would be a venial sin if I were to masturbate is this going to show up it would, it would show up my heart rate would in, would increase right or does the heart rate not increase to the is the the code that they have did somebody write code okay we need to put in here that if this is goes up by such and such by such and such it, that's not his heart or you know that's not a heart attack or you know it's uh, something else. Do, do they have that figured out? What's going on? I've never seen that question asked. The world wants to know. By the way, I volunteered, of course, for they can use all my data. They were very happy. I said, I don't care. Use my, I signed. You can use my data for research and whatever. Just long, you know, they're, all they're doing is getting my data. I'm not, they're not having to take any extra, they're not taking blood. They're not, uh, not taking any of my brain cells. Well, they have, they couldn't take any brain cells. Uh, you're only you know you can only have so many brain cells. You can't go below a certain number. Actually, you can. There, a few years ago, there was a thing on CNN. I think it was some guy in Germany who I mentioned this before because it fascinates me. Some guy was born and went to school and got him a job and got up there in years, I don't know, 40, 50 years of age, 60 years of age, and then something happened where they had to x-ray his brain or, or his head or something or other, and he didn't hardly have a brain. He had a, a brain stem and a few cells there or whatever, and this guy had, sort of sounds like me, this guy had managed. I mean, he wasn't a nuclear scientist, he could have been uh, a Republican president of the United States. Ah, just kidding. No, that, it, he did. He had very not much brain, and uh, he made it. Now that was in Germany. They have national health care. They have national health care all over Europe, all over the EU. And uh, would he have been? Would he have been able to make it in the United States? Uh, be, I wonder, they didn't give that information. 
<coughs> I wonder, I mean, in school, he probably didn't, uh, probably didn't take calculus or trigonometry, trick, trick, never mind. I didn't take calculus or trig or, uh, I took, I did take algebra. I went to summer school for, and in order to, I flunked algebra. I took general math and algebra. I probably flunked general math. I flunked religion. I flunked typing. I flunked everything. So I'd be interested in, did the, somebody may know too on that guy, some, because maybe somebody in Germany, maybe you followed the, you know, it, it appeared over here, but uh, maybe you know. How did that guy, I'm sure he probably just, the school just said, oh, this guy's not too bright. We know another guy in the United States, in Kansas City, Missouri. Jim Howard goes to summer school every summer. And this guy's like him. So I'm sure he was just... Now, I went to Catholic grade school and high school. And in grade school, I don't remember holy name, but at... Uh, St. Vincent's. Yeah, was it St. Vincent? I can't, now I can't remember. But there was a, I can't say retarded. Autism, I guess. Okay, I don't notify. You know, he, uh, he was not very nice kid. Nice, nice boy. No trouble. Uh, and they just, he just moved along with us class to class. And there was no, it was a Catholic school. They had no facilities for any kind of, I'm not even sure that then that the public schools, uh, but they just moved him from class to class. You know, he graduated, went with us, and uh, even though he was slow. So, how long has this been recording? Lighting is pretty good, isn't it? The, the, uh, you can't beat sunlight, even if it's coming in through a, 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 a uh, brown curtain. I guess the best thing would be somebody just, well, they haven't collected yet $453 million, I was going to say. If I won the four, I could have a of course, I think that's the way they started out when they uh, making movies in the early days or whatever, because of the you know lights were kind of. Uh, I think Edison and the people they had glass houses or roofs that they could pull back and get the good old sunlight. I've I've been an early adopter. I was an early adopter of the fluorescent compact fluorescent bulbs. I had the other, you know, I got them when they were expensive. I'd have to buy every other payday or whatever. I'd pick up one or two, and before long, I had everything in the in the place was. And then I, now when they they've come out with the, uh, I want to say digital. I got them all over here. Um, you know what I mean, LED. So I have gradually, everything here, everything here is now LED, except there's a fixture, fluorescent fixture in the kitchen, you know, that, that uh, is there. But everything else is, so, but I, I like, oops, I wish I could turn and remember to, that other thing tracks me. Oh, what do you think? You think I should buy that two hundred dollar? Talk me into talk me into waiting. I know the price will come down, but four K. I could be doing four K video. I could be doing four K streaming video. My God, I wonder how how big the the file size is. By the way, this is the. FZ Panasonic FZ two hundred, and 
they have an FC 300 and it does 4k video does it it doesn't do a whole much a whole lot more than this one but it does do it does a few things and a few things the few extra things that it does is nice but I take very few well hey with my ex-wife moving in I may be getting out of the house <laughs> and, and going someplace when the weather is decent so I may start making some videos I haven't made a walking and talking video in a long time if you don't remember I would go out occasionally and hold the camera out and be walking and talking. I just about walked in front of a train once. Where else? Uh, someplace else. But I don't think I would in uh, my downtown Miami. Well, I wasn't using my cell phone, but. I stepped right out in front of a bus. It didn't hit me, but I think I, I acted like I, you know, the bus driver had to think to put the brakes on, and I think some of the people on the bus, nobody went flying and hit a pole or rolled in the aisle or whatever. But that was I. That's one of those moments when you act like, uh, oh, you're, you know, not me. The other guy farted or something. You know, it was kind of a. I walked right in front of the bus. So, I've had, uh, I've had, I guess everybody's had, well, maybe not everybody. I've had some close calls for being killed or injured. Uh, about my second job or whatever, getting over the, uh, the place was a terrible company, a re company owned by Darby Corporation, and I, I don't think he was alive then, but uh, Harry Darby used to be a Republican United States Senator from uh, Kansas. The place was not, it was Kansas to his right to work. That sounds great, doesn't it? Right to work. I mean, who wouldn't, you know? That's not. If, for those of you not in the United States, for you, those of you outside the United States, the states, you know, can pass certain things. You know, federal law, although there's people in the United States who don't believe, you know, that federal law is supreme. And then the states, you know, and then you work it on down, you know. So the states can't do if the federal government has jurisdiction and if, if there's a law or whatever, then, you know, that, but the states can do a lot because that's the way our system was set up. So a whole bunch of states have instituted a right, you know, in the past instituted a right to work law. And what that is, is that, uh, it's to prevent unions or to make it difficult on, you know, on unions. And they call it the, you know, right to work. And very popular in southern states. Uh, so that was, I worked there. I was in a union, Boilermakers Union. Uh, but safety, there was, if you have a if you have a union in a right to work state, they have you're, you're kind of they got a gun kind of at your head. Uh, a guy. Well, first I worked in the main plant, and then later I went back and I worked in their ship shipyard. What not shipyard, but and there a guy who walked in front of the railroad switch engine that had a crane on it so it could lift up steel and stuff like that. He fell and both his legs and one arm were cut off. I had 
when I was working in the in the plant or whatever I worked I worked there exactly in that plant a year I quit on my anniversary day because it was it was a building but they had no you know sides I mean it was it was fucking cold in the winter time and working conditions were not the greatest even though we had a union so at some point after I'm sure after a few months or whatever I was saying to myself fuck this I'm going to quit and then I would say well I'll go in today and then I will just quit at noon of course I wasn't working I was working evening shift but I'll quit after four hours so I went in and I thought oh, I'm already here my feet are already frozen solid uh, might as well just stay there next you know and then I would just keep, every day I'd go in for like months, I was going in and telling myself, I'm going to quit. This is my last day. And then finally I went in and it was my anniversary date. I'd been there exactly a year and I went in and this is it. And I, but anyway, and I quit then. But we had to park on the other side of some railroad tracks and several times, especially at the beginning, because I did, that was like my well, second welding job. I didn't know anything about train. You know, I was building trains. That was the way we were doing it, uh, building coal haulers. But I didn't really know anything about trains. And uh, <coughs> my, my car was on the other side at 11 o'clock at night. I crawled up onto the coupler and set my ass down in the in the coupler thing and just jumped off in the coupler thing, the tra train, you know, long fucking train. Do you know, when you see a train parked there or whatever, when the engine starts on a long train, do you know, you know, the, the train just doesn't go slowly, uh, you know, when the train has started moving down at the other, you know, it goes pop fast, bang, it goes. I just about got crushed uh, two or three times. Oh, but in the building, one time I was working on a uh, railroad car, and there was an overhead crane in there, and, and of course the hook that picks stuff up is, thick. I mean, you know, steel. Uh, maybe cast iron, I'm not sure what it was. But fucking monster. And so I'm up on a ladder welding or whatever. And then the ladder, I hear a boom or whatever, and I, you know, whatever. And then I raised my hood up, and the guy had, which it, that should have, shut, there should have been a shut off, but he had, the guy was up, there was a guy up in a box on the, way up there that he ran the crane you know and the thing moved on a rail up above and stuff and he had hit the thing to take take it up and then I, he was I think I'd see him up to reading a magazine or a, probably porn and uh, he hit the thing to go up and it should have shut off automatically I mean he should have stopped it with this thing but if he didn't stop it which he didn't this time it should have shut off but it went up and bang it fell down and there was a, <laughs> it came down so it was right, you know, I was here and it was right, right there and it missed me. And of course it went down into the concrete and put a big old crater in the concrete or whatever. That could have been me. And then think, if that had been me, think of the videos that you would have missed. I mean, it would have been, it would have been tragic. Probably YouTube would have not, wouldn't be a success. If it wasn't, if that crane had got me, that probably would have, that would have altered time for all time. I believe that, truly I do. Thank you. See, I didn't, you know, you could, I didn't talk about politics, really. Oh, I just talked about things. Well, one thing, too, I'd like, let me get back to that, because I got sidetracked. Someone, the, the other person sidetracked me. You do see the other person, don't you? 
Um, what I'd like to see would be the public finding, financing of the, especially starting, let's start, you know, start with the House of Representatives. Public financing. Nobody could donate money. Nobody could give a poli nobody could give a politi a, rep a congressman, a member that start with the House. Nobody could give them money. That would be illegal for a corporation or for anybody. And of course, you'd have to. They would be working to get around it. Uh, we will give you money to come before, come and lecture. You know, come and teach us. Uh, come and make a speech. Of course, they do that now, but. But they would come up, so you would have to figure out all. Of, but you'd have, you should make it. I mentioned this before. They sh you should make it where they could. You, they couldn't get any money at all. If you want to be a fucking congressman, you you know, uh, you get your congressional salary and all the other little perks that you get. But you're not allowed to take money from your constituents. Consti I, I can't. For the people you represent, you can't take money from corporations. Uh, you can't uh, newt or whatever that, uh, and I'm sure others have done it. Is uh, he got a whole bunch of money for writing a book? Who knows who wrote, actually wrote the book? It doesn't really matter, even if he wrote the book. But nobody wanted the book, and the people who were bribing him. They bought all the books, you know, the, and then they they sent them out or gave them away. Nobody wanted them, but they sent them out or gave them away or whatever. And it was just a way to get around the thing. So you'd have to do that. So public financing of the election, well, not just the, well, the whole thing, yeah. So, and then positively, you'd have to go in and tweak the uh, thing, but that's not going to, that's not going to happen. How come all the idea? All, how come all of my great ideas that I have? Uh, how come none of them would work? I guess if it was easy to do, somebody would have come up. Somebody would have come up with it. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, oh, I'm going to add on my little. I'm not sure if I will. My little things that I showed you. Maybe I should add them on here. Maybe not. I don't know. I don't know.